there's a small store in Tacoma, just so you guys may not know this, they're like a million six. That's their gross volume. And in Seattle, we have a store that's, uh, that was about 24 and a half that year. Okay. And so it's a big disparity. It's 35 miles difference. And um, we looked at, we were, we just, because we like to talk to people, we're talking to them about their strategies. They didn't seem to have a real strategic way to get to critical mass to probably survive the next five years. But we know we can inject some of that. I mean, they're not an NCG, they can't qualify, but we do. And so we said, you know, really, we're in the same metro area. There's not any real daylight between us in terms of our values or ends, all this stuff. Let's look at this. And that came from them, by the way. They said, let's look at this. So we said, sure. And we had a vote on it. And at the time, we'd been looking at the solidarity structure, saying, let's get worker ownership. That's a big cause of our time. Uh, it really is how we treat workers, you know. And um, we'd plan on doing that maybe in a few years, even just having the dialogue. We said, let's just... Look, we're going to do this. Let's do this in one shot. So we did. We had an election, um, and that was. And we had a timeline that's very tight too, because we said, you know, this is not a fine line. It's not improving with age. So we did what everyone said. This is crazy. But we knew, we knew our membership. We knew what we we're doing, and that's courage too. We just went with it. So we had a 30-day election. We got double the number of votes that we've ever had in history at Central Co-op, and they smashed the record for number of votes in Tacoma. They had about 98% approval. We had 94% approval. I mean, that's a massive landslide by any measure. It's the most democratic action we've ever undertaken. And everyone said that can't work. They said, well, how's the merger? How's the culture work? Go in there and ask them now. You had employees making ten dollars an hour, might be making sixteen, seventeen, never had insurance, now they do. You don't think they're happy? And it and it works. You see prices that are twenty percent down, all of a sudden now more people are coming in the door. They're very happy. Did they lose democratic control? I don't know. If you're broke, you don't have a whole lot of democratic control of anything. <laughs> you know? We talk about empowerment like just like not being, like, like somehow that's like better. But I would say that uh, for us it's not about, you know, it's big or small. Everybody, we, we have a culture where it doesn't matter where you live, we're cooperators. We want to grow a co-op movement. We want to grow benefit to our communities. We want to grow support for local farms, vendors. And so we did it. I personally believe the least efficient way you can possibly operate is a single store. I mean, you have to carry all the services inside. It's the least efficient. The fact that food co-ops have survived as long as they have with this kind of thing it's largely because of the stuff Dave was talking about where we were the only games in town. We're not anymore. That's the thing that, boy, people are going to hate me for saying this, but if, if, if we've got 150 individual co-ops or so, I'll tell you, if that doesn't start looking more like 40 or 50, a lot of them are going to be gone because there's no way they're going to carry that weight as that market gets more intense, and it will. That's just, I'll just throw it out there, but, um, boy, we had our detractors. We had our folks out of the woodwork, and so a lot of times we think, oh, well, inclusion. The truth's not always in the middle. Sometimes people are flat wrong. That's a big myth in co-ops too. Like everybody has something important to add. Sometimes they don't. <laughs> so it takes courage to be able to tell them that and say, look, this is foolish. I mean, I, I love you, but that's not going to work. Anyway, that's how we did it. So far, it's really good. We'll see over the years how it progresses. We're kind of like a, a great experiment now, yeah? Anyway, and we're on target for like 28, 29 million this year in the system, and it's going to grow, grow, grow from there. We're not shrinking by any stretch. So I don't know. Maybe we're doing something well. Anyway.